What's good, ladies and gentlemen? So you've been wanting to do this music production thing for some time, right? But you just don't know what to do next or where to get started. In my last two videos, I showed you a couple of good bundles that came with some software. If you've already got some gear, but still don't know what to do, today's video is all about me showing you the next steps and getting some free software. You ready? Let's go! go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am your conductor and engineer on this express train of showing you how to get free recording software. What's good everybody, my name is Paul the Fifth. If you've been keeping up with me, my last two videos I showed you some solid recording bundles. And those included the Focusrite 2i2 as well as the Persona's 25th Anniversary Edition. Towards the end of my last video, I showed you how to get some things set up. I showed you how to connect your computer to your interface and your interface to your speakers. In today's video, it is my goal to show you how to get some free recording software. That's right, zero dollars, no cost to you. You might need to get some accessories, but along the journey, this express train is gonna be making multiple stops at some various websites, and I'll be showing you different places to get free recording software, including the industry standard Pro Tools. Let's go ahead and get this journey started. Who's excited? It's time to get some free recording software. If you go to these sites, make sure you look at the tech spec recommendations and the system requirements. If you haven't seen the video I made on those suggestions for you, I will drop that link in the description. I'll be showing you these five websites in reverse order. So from five, four, three, two, and one. Number five on our list is a product called Hyatt Wave. So H-Y-A-W-A-V-E, Wave. The website is nch.com.au. So that leads me to believe that it's maybe an Australian company or somewhere international, but it is free. And if you just click on the download now, you've got the option for your PC or your Mac. Check out those system requirements and just hit the download and install. Let's take a look at some of the specs. Audio editor features, sound editing tools include copy, cut, paste, delete, pretty basic audio units, tons of great features, amazing effects, echo, reverb, normalize, and more, fast editing, copy and paste, auto trim, compression, and more. Powerful tools, batch processing, scrub and search audio, spectral analysis, and more. This seems kind of intriguing for a base level free recording software. Might be worth checking out. Let's go on to number four. This is a program called Ardour, A-R-D-O-U-R, -R, and their website is ardour.org. This is built for not only your Mac OS and Windows, but Linux as well. This website looks a little more exciting. You've got more graphics here, record, edit, and mix. Record, bring it to the computer, grab yourself a nice audio interface, plug in a microphone or a keyboard, add a track, press record. When it comes to editing, seems pretty straightforward. Cut, move, stretch, copy, paste, delete, align, trim, crossfade, rename, snapshot, zoom, transpose, quantize, swing, drag, drop. Pretty decent editing for free software. When it comes to mixing, all the buzzwords, mute, solo, fader, automate, EQ, dynamics, insert, send, pre-fader, post-fader, sync, monitor, isolate. And again, seems pretty in depth for free recording software. Moving on to number three. This is a program that's been around for a while. It's called Audacity and the website is audacityteam.org. I've used this once upon a time. It was like in 2008 or 2009. Pretty basic software, but still allows you to do a decent amount of recording, some slight mixing and editing. On the download, it's built for Windows, Mac, and Linux. To download, just hit download Audacity. Make sure you've got the right OS chosen. Some features include recording, export, import, sound quality, plugins, editing, effects, accessibility, and analysis. Import, edit, and combine sound files 
export your recordings in many different file formats, including multiple files at once. Sound quality, 16, 24, and 32 bit sample rate. Pretty standard for free recording software. Plugins, when it comes to plugins, there's some things I'm not aware of. I've not heard of these before. When it comes to editing, cut, copy, paste, and delete. Pretty basic. Effects, probably effects seem pretty basic as well. Accessibility, track, and selection can be fully manipulated using the keyboard. Large range of keyboard shortcuts. And when it comes to analysis, you've got a great spectrogram going from 20 hertz all the way up to 20K, every step in between. And number two, this software is dedicated strictly for Mac. Can you take a guess? Where do most bands get started? In the basement or possibly the garage? You guessed it, Garage Band. This is found in the App Store and the Mac platform. Let's take a look. Type in Garage Band. I've already got this installed, but it is completely free. Mine's got an update, but you basically just click on the get here and download and install. When you first set things up, it may have you download and install an expansive sound library. That may take up to four gigs or so. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you have plenty of memory, like I said in the original video. But once you have that, you're good to go. Before we get to the number one free recording software website, we need to take a stop on a couple other websites. Do you know what this is? This is your iLock, and that is a little USB dongle. It's gonna hold all your plugin licenses for Pro Tools. Pro Tools will not work unless you have this plugged in, so you can get this in a variety of places. Let me show you where to get one. First stop is iLock.com, ilok.com, and we'll go to five. So you're looking about 49.95, on average about 50 bucks. The next stop, Amazon, we're looking about 45 bucks. Guitar Center, about 46. Sweetwater, 45. So between 45 and 50 bucks to get yourself an iLock 3 dongle is well worth it. Two things we'll need to do while we're on the iLock.com website. Number one is create yourself a free iLock account. We will go to create free account, user ID, Paul the fifth. Company Legacy Studios Nash. Email address Legacy Studios Nash at gmail.com. To make this quick, I'm going to copy and paste the password. Re enter password. Security question What was your childhood nickname? Polly. Privacy agreement and terms and condition create account. Cool, so we have successfully created your free iLock account. Step number two is to download the iLock License Manager. To do that, go to iLock License Manager. Make sure to choose whatever your OS is. For me, Mac OS. Open, download, and install, and you're good to go. Now that you've got your iLock License Manager downloaded and installed, let me show you what it looks like once you're logged in. I happen to keep my dock on the left hand side of my computer. For me, it just keeps things a little more organized and a little easier to find. Having the smart computer that I have, it's already logged in, save the username and password. Right there, if you click on all licenses, that's every one of the licenses that I currently own. You have available, all activations, unavailable and hidden. You have an iLock cloud, so if you have more than one device, you can store things on the iLock. You can have a session saved over the air. Right here, there's your iLock cloud. But this is where you can manage all the licenses that you may purchase for Pro Tools. Quick note, make sure that you either remember that username and log in or make sure to jot it down. Very important to have that information at hand. Once you log into your iLock license manager, you will need that information to keep track of all your plugins. Now, what we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and take this train on over to avid.com. Avid.com, let's get you Pro Tools first. Let's go. Go, go, go to your web browser and let's type in avid.com. The first thing we'll want to do is go over here to sign in. 
Step one is to create yourself an Avid Master account. I've already got one, but for today's video, I'll show you how to get this set up. Just type in the prompts here. Username, Paul the Fifth. Email, Paul the Fifth at gmail.com. Password. I'm not a robot. Squares with stairs. <laughs> Made a rhyme. Creating an account. Cool. Now that that is successfully done, let me log into my Avid Master account and show you what it looks like. Email legacy studios nash at gmail.com. Cool. Successfully logged in. The first thing I want to do is take some time to show you the differences between the three versions of Pro Tools. What we'll want to do is go to Pro Tools, compare which version of Pro Tools is right for me. Pro Tools comparison. Pro Tools first, completely free. Pro Tools, this is the bundle that I have. I pay $30 a month. And you have Pro Tools Ultimate, which was previously known as Pro Tools HD. Pro Tools is always better with new features and improvements. And with your active plan, you get them as soon as we release them. See what's new in Pro Tools. All right, key features. Pro Tools First, Pro Tools Ultimate. Create, edit, produce. Mix, master, deliver. Usability. Collaborate and connect. This is probably one of the coolest features, especially in the times that we're in. If you live in other cities than the musician, or if you're in the same city and you're still worried about health concerns, this allows you to work with them over cloud-based sessions. And finally, should be number one, but your system requirements for Mac. Intel Mac with Mac OS Mojave, Catalina, Mac OS Big Sur, Intel i5 processor or higher, four gigs of RAM, eight recommended. I suggested at least 16. Internet connection for installation, minimum of 15 gigs disk space for installation. USB port, firewire port. Windows will be released shortly. That was just a real brief overview of the system requirements here. Now let me show you how to get Pro Tools first. Here we go. go, go. On this icon, Pro Tools first, a streamlined tool set to get you started, free kit now so this is where it's imperative to remember your iLock information right here i can use my existing iLock which i'm not going to do because i don't want to create any complications with my current subscription but you just type in your iLock user id and submit and that automatically links your pro tools first free program with the iLock account that you just created once you do that it'll give you a link to download pro tools first you install and download and you're good to go let me show you where you can view your programs back here we will go to my account view my products so i pay about five dollars for an avid monthly bundle of plugins let's take a look at that it is linked with my iLock account here and you just click on view software and download product links Here's the included plugins. First Air Effects Bundle 12, First Air Instruments Bundle, First Air Instruments 2018, Expand 2, Graphic EQ 12, 11 Effects Bundle. And for me, my Pro Tools subscription right here. We will scroll over to product, view software and download links. And for me, there is an update. Pro Tools 2021.3 Installer Mac. I shall download that now. And before you launch Pro Tools, make sure you've got your iLock plugged in successfully. And then you launch Pro Tools and you're good to go. In wrapping up today's content, I showed you five different websites that you can go to to get yourself some free recording software. On each site, I went over some basic features that each program contains. We not only went to the iLock.com website, showed you how to create an iLock account, how to download the free iLock license manager, where to get yourself an iLock if you don't have one already. We also visited the Avid website, the maker of Pro Tools, showed you how to create an Avid master account. Once you've done that, how to download Pro Tools 
first showed you the differences between the three Pro Tools programs. And once you've got your master account set up, showed you some of the ins and outs of your Avid Master account. For all my tutorials, I'll be showing demonstrations in Pro Tools and Apple's Logic. Here are five more commonly used DAWs for digital audio workstations. And they are Ableton Live, Cubase, Fruity Loops, New Window, and Reason. I thank you so much for watching and hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you were able to gain some knowledge, get Pro Tools set up, create that account, and possibly even GarageBand. Stick with me because next episode, I'll be showing you how to create an actual session within Pro Tools and Logic. I'll be showing you the necessary steps to get your interface connected to your computer so that everything communicates with each other. All right, today it was my goal to show you five places to get free recording software if you're a beginner. Even if you're not, maybe you didn't know about these, maybe it was some kind of benefit to you today. I have a question for you. What do you think about the progression here with me, Paul, the fifth at Legacy Studios? I know in the beginning, I wasn't so great with my lighting. I didn't know what to do. I've got myself some gear. I feel like things are getting better and I am constantly striving for excellence. I came across a video recently that helped me to understand a couple more things so I can make better content for you. As always, I do appreciate you. If you found any value in today's video, if you would give me a thumbs up. As always, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that way you know what me, Paul the Fifth, is up to here at Legacy Studios. I thank you so much for watching. My name is Paul the Fifth.